Hey y'all, thank you for joining me again on Instinctive Addiction. I've got something for you today that I, I hope and pray you'll find really, really helpful. Uh, I know it was for me. Okay, sometimes things happen that you kind of don't expect to happen. You're not looking for it and, and it just happens and you're like, wow, why didn't I see this earlier? What, what, what's the deal with this, you know? Okay, so as the story goes, you guys know I shoot a lot of arrows. I shoot all the time, constant. And I've been shooting good. I, I've been pleased with my groups, with my shooting. Just, you know, no no objections really. Feeling like, okay, that's, that's about the best I can do, you know. Shooting instinctive. Well, I just so happened, I've been shooting my Ash Recurve uh, that Jeff Lamar built. Uh, got it set up last week, did the little video with it, uh, been shooting it a lot, got it all dialed in, and the bow shooting just incredibly well. And I've been pleased. Uh, we're shooting gold tip, uh, traditional 500s out of the bow. Uh, shooting great. Well, I, I like to kind of test and try things all the time. Well, I had a set of Victory Carbon Trads, these 550s. I had a set of these in the house. And I thought, well, they're about the same weight. Uh, they're 550s, they're really close. I'm just gonna see how these arrows shoot out of this bow uh, because I'm, I'm always looking at, you know, what works best out of everything. If something's good, something can be better, right? All right, so I went in and I grabbed these particular arrows and uh, came out, loaded one up, and I, I started shooting them and I noticed something uh, very strange not only was I able to shoot these arrows incredibly accurate, but there was a reason why. It's this outsert. It's a half outsert. If you guys can see this, this little thing right here is called a half outsert. That's right. The way they build these arrows, you've got oh, somewhere close to an inch uh, of this outsert. It's called a half out that goes into the shaft and the rest sort of acts like an adapter to take it out from a 204 inside diameter which is like 2.267 outside diameter to a 516 standard which is your standard tips uh, broadheads field tips whatever so it's kind of an adapter it sort of gets big as it, as it goes out it kind of cones out if you will okay so that's how they build these arrows well i just happened to have these cut uh, and set up and hunted with them last year okay well, as I began to shoot these arrows, I noticed something. Uh, there was something going on with this little outsert that didn't happen with my gold tips because they didn't have that. And as I began to notice it and use it, my accuracy went up, just skyrocketed. Uh, I, I went from good groups to unbelievable groups to, to where I, I honestly couldn't shoot at the same spot and that's the god honest truth. I had I had to back off and shoot different spots. They were grouping so tight. And I haven't been able to do that, guys. I don't gap shoot, and I know that that's the norm with, with any kind of aiming tool, but shooting instinctive, you'll be very, very close and very tight. But you, it seems like you can't break that point of, oh my god, kind of accuracy. This allowed that to happen. Now, I still may not do it every time if I don't pull through my shot correctly if I don't if I plug the string if I do something wrong well that's on me but this has actually helped me and what I'm going to show you guys I'm going to take grab the bow here I'm going to show you exactly what I mean of what's going on with this deal okay so as I begin to shoot these arrows and I begin to draw them that little outsert as I drew started laying on my finger I could feel it actually rake across my finger and and when I come in to draw and it come across my finger and rested right there the little bitty edge that was my mental note that I'm there and I don't have to think about it I feel it like when I'm coming into my shot and I anchor and get my back tension ready when I was feeling this thing come across my finger I knew that I was there so what it did was it acted like a clicker and I don't use clickers simply for the noise. Clickers are great, but 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 I don't want the noise. I don't want a tick and a click. I, I just don't like that because I'm a hunter and I, I just personally don't want them. But they work. They absolutely work. Uh, had a couple of guys uh, message me about this deal as we were talking about it. And they noted that lots of guys use the feather to the nose method. 
Well, that's absolutely great. If your anchor point is and your areas are oriented to where that will happen, absolutely. If there's any way that you can make something happen consistent over and over every time and it work, well, yeah, why wouldn't you use it? Sure. So as an instinctive archer, I'm always looking for anything that helps me. And when I discovered this, and I call it a discovery because it was just by pure chance this happened, and I began to use this, and it was incredible. Uh, if I pull through my shot, and if I focus, and I do what I'm supposed to do, it is unbelievable how much it helped me. Unbelievable. So, I took some gold tips. Let me grab one. I took these gold tips here that I was shooting, which are... I'm gonna say probably they're a full inch longer than these carbon trads, a full inch. So I put a piece of wrap, I took a piece of arrow wrap and cut it and put on here and it does the same thing. When that tiny little piece comes across my finger, I can feel that tiny little piece come across there and I know that I'm dug in and I'm at full draw where I'm supposed to be. So anyway, I'm gonna shoot a couple here and uh, just kind of demonstrate how this works but as i'm at full draw and there again you'd have to cut your arrows to where that happened for you or you wouldn't be able to do it but but even when this is starting to touch my finger well i've still got plenty before my broad head or whatever in other words i'm not wasting any arrow but they're not too short either but it lets me know that i am at full draw i'm not short drawing the bow and that's that's the main thing so i'll shoot a couple here to show you guys what i mean Look at that, dead end. It, it's inside of a quarter. I mean, the little tiny black spot right there, that, that, that's quarter size. And, and I'm shooting instinctive, guys. And I mean, literally, it makes your shot more perfect than you could already try to make it yourself doing the double anchor, elbow up, back tension, holding your form, doing all the things that I've always done and preached. And I'm just telling you guys, sometimes you got to try things that you did you never thought about so take it from me take you an arrow if, if you possibly can do it if you don't have outserted arrows if you do have them go ahead and cut them where they'll touch your finger if you don't put you a piece of tape around there arrow wrap sticks so hard that the, t the targets won't even tear them off i mean it works absolutely perfect okay if that doesn't work find you some kind of method whether it be a feather to the nose or whatever, find you something that will touch or do every time to give you that mental, that mental trigger that I'm there. I'm there, okay? You don't have to think about it. You're focused on your spot, but when you come back and that little mental trigger goes off, you know you're there, okay? So guys, I hope this has helped you. I promise you, it's, it's amazing what it has done for me so you can bet i will be rigging my arrows up where i will have something like this and i did shoot my longbow my big jim uh thunder child i shot it the same way same exact thing now if you have a bow that does not have a shelf cut close if your if your shelf unfortunately is not not close to your hand you'll have to find a different something that'll work for you you'll, you'll have to do something different but if you shoot longbow or you shoot custom recurve or if your, your uh, ILF bow just so happens to ride close to your hand, absolutely it's going to work. So uh, I'm going to tinker with my Hoyt a little bit and see if there's a way. I, I Honestly, uh, I haven't shot it yet. I don't know if that's even going to work with it or not. It may or may not. Uh, but I can guarantee you that any of these custom bows, I will be doing that and I'll be setting my arrows up where I can feel that just barely come across my finger because shooting with a cant and having that little touch is magic it is absolute magic for instinctive shooting so uh guys i hope you enjoyed this thank you again as always god bless you i hope you have a great day and uh hope this helped you a little bit if you have any questions please message me and i'll do my best to uh answer if you've got any better ideas i'm all up for them i promise you that uh but this one was worth sharing i felt like it was worth sharing or i wouldn't have brought it to you so guys give it a try i think you'll love it till next time. Goodbye.